Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop, and today I'm going to show you a couple steps you can use to enhance the eyes of your subject in Photoshop. So this is the photo I'm going to use today. This was one from a Christmas mini session a few years ago. Um, the first thing I'm going to do with this photo is just duplicate the background layer. Um, and what this does is just saves my original, makes sure nothing happens to it. So on this duplicated background layer, I'm going to um, do so, a little sharpening. Um, not really to make it crisp, but just to kind of enhance the colors a little bit. And I'll show you what I mean here. Um, I'm going to go to Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. And I'm going to pull this to where I can see the eye. Um, you can also see your preview here, but I like to look at it and um, at 100% just to make sure that um, you know, I'm seeing it in full view. Okay, so with these sliders, basically you'll get different effects um, the more or less you, you turn them on or turn them down. So I'm going to keep my amount the same, but I'm going to adjust the radius first. Um, and you'll notice that when it's all the way this way, there's not a lot of sharpening going on on the eye. Um, and the more you increase it, the sharper it gets. Um, now with a smaller radius, I notice it just kind of gets, it gets crispy, it gets sharp. Um, but I kind of want to increase that a little and just enhance the, the color, if that makes sense. It kind of looks um, smooth still, but the colors are enhanced um, and they look a little bit more vibrant. So um, again, these sliders will vary depending on your photo and your preferences and everything. Uh, but this generally looks, a, looks kind of what I'm going for. Um, and I'm not going to use this that strongly. I'm actually going to paint this on. So um, if it's a little bit too strong, that's totally fine. We're going to adjust it in just a little bit. So just hit OK when you like the effect. <clears throat> and then on this layer, this is now your sharpening, and you can change the name of it uh, by double clicking here and typing in the new name if you want to, to um, help you remember what that layer is for. Um, and I'm going to apply a layer mask to this layer, and I did that just by hitting this little button down here, the rectangle with the circle inside. Um, and I'm going to hit Control or Command I on my keyboard to invert that layer. And now I'm going to zoom in here, and I'm going to make sure I have a paintbrush set to white, and I'm going to paint this effect over the eye. And I'm at 10% opacity, but you can increase your opacity. I'm going to go to 40%, and I did that by hitting the 4 on my keyboard. And I'm just going to paint some of that onto the eye. And you can turn this on and off once you finish to see the difference. Um, and you can kind of see that you've made it a little bit more contrasty, um, a little bit sharper, and you've increased the vibrancy, makes them look a little bit clearer. So once we've done that, um, this is a good stopping point if you think that looks good. Um, I'm going to go a little bit further and just add a little bit of brightness to the eye. Uh, the trick with enhancing eyes, though, is to make sure that you're doing it subtly and that it looks believable. A lot of times it can look a little overwhelming, and then your subject doesn't look quite as natural. So um, we're going to try to stay subtle today. Um, the layer I'm going to use is the brightness contrast layer, and I got here just by hitting this little button down here um, and hit brightness contrast. And so here I'm just going to increase the brightness, and again, if it's a little too strong, that's okay. We're going to paint this one on, too. Um, and I'm just paying attention to the color portion of the eye. I very, very rarely uh, whiten the white of the eye. Um, I think that kind of leads to more of an unnatural look, in my opinion, uh, on my photos. So I generally kind of steer clear of that. Um, so I'm just paying close attention to the colored portion of the eye and the catch lights, the little bright portions of the eye. So once I like the brightness, um, I hit Control or Command I again to invert that layer. And then again, I'm going to zoom in here and then paint this on. And I'm going to do this at 20% opacity. Now, if you do need to whiten the white, if it is really dark, you can do this at 10% opacity and just sweep over the whole eye. Um, and then if you need to go a little bit further on the colored portion of the eye, you can do 20% opacity and just over that portion, enhance it. Um, I don't do much again over the white, um, so I don't want it to look alien. So I'm going to zoom out here and show you the difference. Okay, so this is with our brightening, and again, we did go over the white a tiny bit, um, but I make sure not to go over the white a lot or at a high opacity. You want to stay low and only use it if absolutely necessary. Um, so once you do that, you can see the brightness here that we've enhanced, and you can go further with this if you want to. Um, I just like to stay super subtle to make sure it doesn't look overly processed. 
Um, and if you want to see your total effect, you can hit the Alt key and hit that eyeball on your background layer, and then you can see the before and after. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com, or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.